Dan, a pretty exhausting afternoon all round. How do you sum up those closing stages? Um, it was a tough game. Um, we were probably a bit frustrated. I mean, credit to Exeter, they played for the full 80 minutes and obviously that showed. But, you know, we put ourselves in a bit of a hold in the first half. Exeter, credit to them, they um, were able to sort of win probably the kick battle and got a couple of errors, a uh, couple of their errors. Um, but credit to the guys at halftime, we um, regrouped and came out and thought, you know, put ourselves in a position to win the game. But again, extra, a very good side and um, they proved they were worth the end. The fight back shows once you get momentum, that's when you get teams worried, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, and I say we sort of probably played more of our game in the second half uh, and the ability, you know, our ball came into a bit more. Um, our, the kicking game, we probably started winning those battles and yes, we put ourselves in a position to win and it's frustrating we didn't see it out. And there was lots of positives in that, but in the end, a, a disappointing defeat. When you dissect it, where do you look first for the positives? Um, the positives, well, the ability we came back into the game. We say we were down at half time um, and we put ourselves in a position to win. Positives as well, probably. If you look at it, there's a lot that we can control, a lot of errors that um, Exeter capitalised on, but probably came from our mistakes. You know, at the end of the game, I think we went ahead, but we lost the. You know, there was a kickoff. We messed up. They got it back. They're under right there. They scored or held up, and we had those D areas. And credit to us, we defended really well. But at the same time, you don't want to be. At some point, the dam's going to break if you defend your goal line for multiple phases, which you did at the end. Um, and we've got to not be in those positions again. But a lot of it is within our control. It's the first game of the season. Um, it's a new group of players than what it was last year, and you know we'll keep building. And fight and spirit were there by the bucket lord, weren't they? Yeah. Well, that's one of the things with Steve. Um, you know, that's one of the non-negotiables of our game, is we have to play, you know, we have to fight, we have to keep fighting, no matter what the score is, up, down, whatever, we keep going. And I think, you know, we've started well in that regard. No. And level heads as well, when you're in a situation where you're trailing quite heavily on the scoreboard, calls for level heads. Yeah, there's a lot of old, experienced players in the team. Um, and, you know, you, you just got to keep playing. We trust in the game plan, we trust in our ability, um, our fitness levels, our ability to play. And if you keep doing the right things, the game will come around to you. And that's what it proved second half. But, you know, you, you can't, you come here, you're against, you know, the crowd's loud, 10,000 people, whatever it is. Like, you've got to keep your head and you've got to keep going. And after a hard pre-season, those pre-season fixes as well, just nice to get on the pitch for a competitive game. Yeah, oh, well, you just say, you, you, we're all here to play rugby, um, and we love playing rugby. And the Premiership's a great competition, so that's what you want to play. Uh, you know, pre-season, it's tough, but it's designed to stay up for the season, um, and it's nice now that we're playing. Uh, but yeah, we want to be playing, and we want to be playing games like this.